Hello and welcome to our podcast. It's not all black and white. I am Sarah. I'm black. I'm Matthew. I'm white. This is the Interracial Couple Podcast and welcome. Uh, by the way, if you are wherever you're listening to this, whether you're on iTunes, Google Play, uh, our podcast is now pretty much available everywhere podcasts are available. Uh, just make sure you subscribe. And if you are watching this on YouTube, also you can uh, click below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we also put out little sort of fun fun little moments, little excerpts, and uh, as we're developing the channel, there'll be more stuff. So make sure you stay up to date there. Um, yeah, and uh, also just to mention at the beginning, if any questions come up, you want to be in touch, our email address is always in the show notes. Get in touch anytime. Uh, we'd love to hear from you if there's something that particularly resonates, uh, or even if there are questions, something you want to hear more about. We might have touched on something either in this episode or in other ones that you want to hear a little bit more about. Just say, hey, uh, talk more about this. We want to. I want to know more about that, and uh, we'll uh, we'll make every effort to address any questions or themes that are of greatest interest. So uh, today we are going to talk about shame and guilt and blame with a sense of humor, um, because the other day, just two days ago, yeah, I've been feeling like a lot of guilt because I. So well, if you if you're watching this, do this and well, well that this my, my haircut's not so bad it was okay um you if you're watching this you know i don't i don't have a beard and uh, you also might notice that i have these like scratches on my neck that looks they're definitely not right here hickeys? they're not hickeys uh and uh i was not in a battle with a lion <laughs> uh i wish it was either hickeys or a battle with a lion but it's nothing nearly that exciting uh, we were on our way back from the gym when Sarah has been bugging me for at least a week to get my haircut, um, which and trim my beard. It was, just, it was it grooming just, day. It just looked really terrible. And it was definitely grooming day, and um, I haven't gone because well, my the guy usually does my hair uh, close shop, and then I was thinking, oh, with all the social distancing and trying to keep away, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna push this as long as I possibly can. Anyway, we're walking by a, a a barber, and Sarah's like, "Now is the time." We actually passed like three barbers, and each one she was she went to the first one and said, uh, "Hey, are you open?" And they weren't open. The guy was closing up. We finally get to one. She's like, "Okay, get in there." I said, "You know, no, no, no. I'll do no, it tomorrow." No, that's not what happened. I saw a lady sitting outside the shop. The barber shop. The barber shop. And I asked that, "Do you cut men's hair?" And she was like, "Oh yeah, I do." And she looked, she looked excited. She like looked like she knew what she was going to do. And with it the did. social distancing, like small businesses are really struggling. So I wanted to support another small business. I wanted to support it was very a kind of, It was business. very kind of you. Yes, it was very kind of you. And mm -hmm. I think when she said, I cut men's hair, it was more like, in theory, I cut men's hair. <laughs> um, with coronavirus <laughs> around, I could make extra <laughs> income yeah, by... Right. If you ask me <laughs> if I cut dog's hair today, the answer would definitely be yes. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the, if she was being perfectly honest, the answer would have been, I do, I just have never done it before. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that I was her first, her, at least her first like male client ever. I think so. Yeah, and definitely her first white client. That definitely, but she definitely didn't know how to use the clipper because it's not really that complex what I need. Basically just make my hair as short as you can and just trim my beard a little bit so it's nice and even. And uh, and don't, you know, gouge your your razor into my neck or slip and hit my ear so it bleeds and just say, oh, oops, sorry. Uh, oh my so, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was so painful to watch. <laughs> so while I'm getting there being literally like, physically hacked up, uh, Sarah's watching and at one point I just said, you know what, she's like, she's going to go with my beard. And she says, oh, what do you want with your beard? I said, no, exactly, you know, just, I want to, you know, just trim it a bit. So the first thing she goes, she hacks a big chunk out of my beard. Not, not shaping, not trimming, just hacks a big chunk. It's like, no, 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 hold on. I think this is still salvageable. Let me do it. So I take it and I kind of show her what I want and I'm kind of going down and, and, and cutting and then she is watching and she turns to Sarah and says in Swahili. She's like, I can, I, I can do it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give her a chance. So I was like, Matthew, yeah. 
She says she can do it. Okay, so I figure at this point I've showed her what I want. I can do it, and I pretty much shaped my beard the way I want it. Now it's just a matter of doing a little extra, you know, a little bit of shaping, but I've done most of the work. She literally grabs it, and she just took off like another big chunk of my beard to the point where it was like, okay, the beard's gone. I am not going to have a beard. I'm going straight up <laughs> Lex Luthor on this. <laughs> I was like, it's time for me to uh, get a haircut and beard cut that makes me look like the bad guy in Superman, uh, or the bad guy in real life, Jeff Bezos, one of the two. And so uh, I just had to say, you know what? This is it, whatever, hair grows back. And I just closed my eyes and I leaned back and I said, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. Yeah. And then Sarah walked out. I, I, I couldn't like stand. Like I was just like, I am, I felt so much guilt sitting there, like just watching her. Because then I just started like looking and she like had zero idea and you're just sitting there like your eyes closed and I was like she has no idea what she's doing and each time it was like a nick you know and like these these cuts were pretty like this has been like three days but there's still everybody I see doesn't want to ask me what it is uh, because it looks it doesn't look either it looks sexual or it looks dangerous one of the two uh, yeah and I like I thought so once I left and I went outside to get some air and just think about it. It's like I was sitting there and I was like feeling so much. Yeah, like I was feeling so bad. I was feeling so guilty. And one of the things I knew is like you're going to get up of that chair and you're going to be so annoyed with me because you would be like, I did not want to get a haircut. It's your fault. Yep. Like you asked her. I would probably like if I wasn't pushing you, like this would not have happened. All right. I was going to go the next day to someone where I've gone to before who I knew would not, you know, destroy my person, <laughs> <laughs> would not injure me. Uh, and oh, but the one of the best things, too, and then we'll we can go into it. But she was like, OK, I just let her go. And she literally I was bleeding in my ear. I had these big cuts. And then she's like, okay. And I get up and literally she had left like half of a, of like a Hitler mustache, but just half. And I was like, okay, just give me this up. Just, just give it to me. This is not going to work. So I got rid of my half of a Hitler mustache. Uh, I don't know what's worse, a half of a Hitler mustache or a whole Hitler mustache. Uh, I'm not quite sure what would have been worse. And you a um, Hitler mustache. Yeah. So that was just... And oh god! And then she just she like scraped my head so bad that when she put the alcohol onto the end, it just it burned like it was the first time I'd ever shaven. 